Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish Gaming. This is Neon and we're gonna talk about your dirty video games. We're gonna talk about those video games that you are too ashamed to admit that you play. Apparently now Steam will let you hide the dirty video games. You can hide the prawn games that you play. And <laughs> this is a pretty interesting move given uh, some of uh, you know the Steam games out there are pretty steamy. A lot of visual novels and, and Japanese games. We're going to talk about this. It's coming from Kotaku. And uh, yeah, so if you're new to the channel, we do gameplay videos and we do gaming news. And I'd love it if you gave us a sub. We try to be objective, you know, a little spicy sometimes, but we do try to be objective. Uh, speaking of spice, let's talk about this. Let's talk about the spice on Kotaku. Steam will soon let you hide the porn games you play. Now, that's pretty much any any lewd game you can uh you can hide it in your library you can hide the fact that you've got overwatch 2 in your library you can basically just hide the games so you can mark this game as private so valve is apparently working on a new steam feature that will allow users to hide their very not safe for work games from their friends or whatever games they want to hide for whatever reason it could be like some fruity life sim or puzzle game or something you're like nah dude i only play call of duty honest that's i don't i don't play i don't i don't play stardew valley i only play call of duty the new feature was first spotted and shared by steam database creator uh pavel jundik on x formerly twitter according to this guy the new privacy option will go beyond steam's current privacy settings which lets you mark achievements and various gameplay screenshots as private by allowing you to mark a game as private so not even your closest steam friends will know you've got it tucked away in your ever-expanding game library here's a screenshot uh, demonstrating how the privacy feature works so you can mark it as private hide it from my friends uh, kotaku reached out to valve for comment good luck with that <laughs> Uh, they said, as you might have guessed, folks are of two minds over the supposed new feature. One camp, which has the distinction of including Giant Bomb's Jeff Grubb among its ranks, jokingly views anyone who would dare use the new privacy feature as a coward. The other camp humorously sees the feature as a boon for folks who just want to enjoy their pervy and publicly scorn games in peace. Now you can hide Hogwarts Legacy from from uh, uh, your friends who want to cancel you for playing Hogwarts Legacy, right? They tried They tried that, then it didn't work very well. Here are a couple of the funniest responses that they found. They said, now I can finally play hentai games without having to worry. One person wrote, Counter-Strike is precisely the kind of game I'd want to keep my activity with private, to be honest. Uh, soon we'll be able to buy games from our catalog like the Kinky Katsuni and the Tantalizing Tanuki without feeling publicly shamed. Uh, wow. W update. I can finally hide every game I own so people don't know I buy games and never play them. No, another. Yeah, that's too right. I actually buy a lot of games when they're on sale and they sit there for years. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I have that game, I think. That's like my my uh, Switch library. I've got games in shrink wrap because I'd pick them up on, on clearance or I'd, I'd pick them up on sale, you know, Black Friday sales or whatever. I'd get them as gifts. And like I'm sitting here thinking like on my Switch, there's like five games I play regularly and I just keep playing the same five games over and over and over again. One of them being Vampire Survivors, uh, which I freaking love. And that's my son's fault. He got me into it. He's like, yes, yeah, it's a very dad game. This is like the most dad game ever. And he was right because I freaking play it all the time. Let's look at the comments here on Kotaku. Um, what's X? People are like, what's X? Oh my God, really? Really? Uh, you can hide the fact that you've got Overwatch 2 in your library. Bwahahaha. Admittedly, it would be nice if there was an archive you could throw your lesser played games in uh, so your collection can grow quite, uh, as it grows quite unwieldy at times. That, that's true. It's very hard to find games, especially if you've been on Steam for like 10 plus years like I have, and there's like tons of games on there. Some of them you can't buy anymore, like Transformers Devastation, which I freaking love that game. And you can't buy it anymore. So it's a good thing I have it in my library. But like, God, I love that game so much. Um, I have a Steam folder called Never Again. Valve has this feature. All it does is not list the game in your Steam. Yeah, you can do that. You can hide that. Uh, Kotaku should put out a list of good prawn games. So many of them are shovelware. Or legitimate. Oh, God. Okay. Very, very dirty. Very dirty. Modern Warfare 2 boycott. Uh, and then One Fateful Morning. 
there pops up a bug, and not just any kind of bug, but a fun little one that suddenly makes this feature non-working. And voila, all your friends can suddenly see the activity of how you unlocked the clopping for three hours straight achievement in Brony Bros 2023. What a fun day that'll be. That's probably true. Can you imagine that? Like, you're like, yeah, I'd never play those those kinds of games, those dirty kinds of games. And then, like, yeah, there's a bug, and it's like, oh, my God, guys. Oh, my God, Jim's been playing uh, Girlfriend Tickle Simulator 3000. And he's got, like, like 82 hours into this thing and has unlocked every achievement, uh, you know. So that's uh, pretty interesting stuff, though, if they're actually going to do that. We can go out to Twitter and see what the uh what the comments are like here how can we bully the furry players then holy crap i remember i posted this recommendation on steam a few months ago well there you go big w for the uh, hentai game steam we thank you finally my shame can be concealed uh game loud and proud guys do that is so based prawn game sales about to go through the roof big announcement for addicts if you've been in the top one percent in any competitive game you know how useful this can be not to hurt your friend's feelings probably probably so yeah that's what it's gonna be used for though i'm gonna hide the dirty games hide the dirty games from my friends or the fruity games or what is this chair oh my god uh chair simulator there's some real garbage on steam though guys there's some like there's some great stuff on there but there's a lot of garbage too and i'd be like ashamed to admit like yeah i bought this game and i didn't refund it because i forgot that i bought this game and it was like two bucks and uh, i don't want people to know i actually paid money for this thing anyway there we go guys you can hide your dirty games on steam pretty soon and uh yeah, what do you think about that? Leave a comment. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know what games do you think you should hide from your friends and family? What games do you think you should hide from your friends and family? Will you buy games now that you wouldn't buy before because now you can hide them? We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. If you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. And check out more videos on the channel, including Let's Plays in art and animation videos here on Clownfish Gaming. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to brute through it, eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys. Squid King here, and today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Okay. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. You can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>